Joining me now on this episode of Locally Source CP is the Executive Director of Border Youth Athletic Association here in El Paso, Ms. Darby. It's, oh my gosh. <laughs> Say it one more time for me. It's Episcopal. Episcopal, Ms. Darby Episcopal. Episcopal. Oh, we were talking about this before we started the show here and I messed up Got her it. last name. Here we go. <laughs> Ms. Episcopal, thank you for joining Please me today. Call me Darby. Darby, <laughs> Darby thank, you for, thank you for joining me today. <laughs> Thank you so much for having us. I'm excited to be here. No, um, I mean, I we've had you guys' organization on before, but I mean, we always love to have you guys coming on, especially with the start of the new year. You guys have a whole yeah. bunch of events coming on. But just to briefly, just, you know, talk a little bit about, again, to remind everyone what you guys do over at the Border Youth Athletic Association. Sure. So as a refresher, we are a local nonprofit here in El Paso. We were founded back in 2000 by our founder, Dr. Dwayne Abood. Um, we've gone through a few iterations since then. And like I said, we're, we've got some new blood and we're pretty excited to share. Um, so we are an education-based organization. We say we use our sports leagues. Right now we've got baseball and softball. Mm -hmm. We use that as a catalyst for educational attainment. And so we serve um, a lot of the colonias and like the regions out in Clint, Socorro, communities where historically opportunity and education has been limited. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to really get in there and change that. Um, we serve kids as young as eight all the way through high school. So we've got different leagues and programs. Um, for example, our youngest league, Base Play RBI, we're affiliated with Major League Baseball. RBI stands for Reviving Baseball in Inner Cities. Mm -hmm. So we're affiliated with them. That's for our youngest kids. To play with us, you don't have to have perfect grades, but you do have to have good school attendance. So we're trying to really let the importance of education permeate at a young age and have them carry that. So um, it's kind of almost like we're an after school program, not exactly affiliated through school. Mm -hmm. but we're kind of our own after school program. Um, and I'll, I'll talk on the importance of that. Just um, something I was reading, we're always you know, looking up different statistics and things for our grants, actually, the hours of 3 to 6 p.m. are the peak hours for elementary students to start getting involved in drugs or alcohol or gangs. And so that after school time is so important mm -hmm. um, to really have like a safe, nurturing environment to be in. And so, um, yeah, we're trying to shout it from the rooftops that we're, we've got registrations open and we're ready. That's cool. And, and, I, I, um, where can they, where can, where can they go? What can everyone go to, you know, look up some of your information? Are you guys, you got a website, uh, you guys social media, where, where can we find you? Sure. So we are at borderyouth.org. That's our website that we're trying to jazz up a little bit as well. We've also got a Facebook. We are EPBYAA for El Paso Border Youth Athletic Association. We're also on Instagram. So we are trying our best at that. But anything you want to know, um, I was going to say, call me, email me, my number's on there, or you can send us an email at info at borderyouth.org. Oh, so cool. And you, uh, what, like when, if, if, uh, if like every if someone were to get involved, like, especially uh, if they have some of the kids that get involved, what, yeah. what program, what, what do you guys do uh, with them? Like, uh, like as far as, you know, sports wise and tutoring wise, do you guys do stuff like that? Or what, what can one expect? We they... do. We do a little bit of everything. So our youngest group, the space play RBI that I'm talking about, that's the one coming up. Mm -hmm. um, we've got opening day coming up in April that I'll tell you about. Uh, that league, it's completely free to the community. That What sets us apart from other sports leagues is, you know, travel baseball or travel softball costs thousands of dollars, which right. is something, again, these communities that we're serving, that's, it just, it's not realistic. And then, so aside from being completely free to play in our sports leagues, the difference is we're completely inclusive as well. I know, especially sports nowadays, you have got to be playing since you're three years old to make yeah. a team, you know? So, <laughs> you know, we take anybody's skills, abilities, different special needs. We don't care. Just come play. So our, our base play league, it's an after school program. They practice, they play on the weekends. Um, we just got access to a field with lights. Oh, so nice. we're playing Friday night, Friday night lights for us. Um, so really, it's just about kind of creating community and creating a safe space for the kids. We we break it up into a little more developmental and a little more competitive. Um, a lot of kids, you know, it's it's the first sport that they've ever tried out. Um, 
So we're happy to have them. We figured just having a healthy, safe environment as opposed to being home unsupervised is is what we can offer and what we're trying to offer. Oh, that's so, so that is so cool. I mean, and that is, I, I honestly think that is so important as long as someone, as, as, as little ones have like support and guidance. I think yeah. that is the main thing they all need, especially, you know, you know, sometimes the parents, you know, they're, you know, they work a lot and they sometimes need some help. Yes, exactly. A lot of our kids come from, you know, maybe they live with grandma or this or that, or their mom works nights. And so again, it goes back to, we don't mind if your grades are perfect. We do offer homework labs, things like that. Um, But again, it goes back to school attendance. A lot of these kids, if they go to school, it's on them to be accountable to do it. Cause like you said, mom or dad or aunt is off at work. Mm -hmm. So we really want to encourage that the importance of going and staying in school. And so that's what we really try and hammer home. Stay in school kids, especially when you're Especially doing this cool stuff. It's so awesome that you, you guys provide that, that that service for them. And, and then I'll, you get, oh, no, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Go Sorry. <laughs> I just got so excited. I'll tell you, I was at an open house at Montana Vista Elementary, East Montana <laughs> Vista Elementary. Um, I was out there. They they kindly let us into the open house at school. And I met a family. Um, and the dad walked by and he was like, oh, he's never played a sport before. And he has special needs. I can't find anywhere for him, you know. And I said, oh that's exactly what we're here for. Come play, <laughs> you know, and, and the kid looked and he was like, it's about having fun. Right. And I said, that's exactly it. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah, I just want them to come have fun. Oh, that's cool. It's experience. Yeah. And then mm-hmm. the experiences like that, just make it make like what you do so much better. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, that is so cool. And then you guys have some events coming up, correct? We do. Yes, sir. I'd love to invite you and anyone out there. We're having an opening day celebration um, Saturday, April 1st. I believe we're starting at 830. We've got a special, highly esteemed guest. Uh, Chico the Chihuahua is going to stop by. (laughs) And we have a a few other special guests showing up. But um, it's kind of our re-entry back into things after the pandemic and Um, really for the new staff too, to kind of showcase we're still here. We're still trying to help. And so, yeah, I'd love everyone to come. It's going to be at Golden Eagle Park in Horizon. So we'll have, we've got a a great friend coming to sing the national anthem and we're trying to get the color guard and really anybody who's interested to come join us. And then we'll, we'll have a couple games on a Saturday morning. Oh, that sounds so fun. We'll make sure that we put (laughs) <laughs> but the, I'll make sure I'll put the info out on that one when Perfect. that comes out. Yes. And then anything else you guys got coming up down the, down the pipe? You know what we do? So this is a little further away. We are hosting a Chihuahuas night at the Chihuahua Stadium for our base play families and kids. We've got a di- discounted ticket price of $8 <laughs> a ticket. Um, and they actually get an on-field experience, which oh, nice. is going to be, which I personally am excited about as well. Um, but just something to offer and kind of give back and say, you know, thank you for, for being on this journey with us and believing in us. So we've got that coming up. I believe it's June 11th, but so those are our two big ones so far. That sounds so, so cool. And that, that you're right. The on-field experience is, is something that, that you're going to remember, especially little kids. Uh, exactly. I, I, I've, I, I did work on their video production crew there for a while and have been on the field a few times. Just, yeah. And every, I mean, I, I mean, it also affects that the fact that baseball is probably one of my favorite sports, but just being on a field <laughs> like that, it's just like, so cool. Like, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I feel very blessed. I came from a baseball family. My, my dad played professionally and now he scouts. Oh, cool. And so I, I really did take it for granted that even stepping on the field is, is not a normal experience and is mm-hmm. something really important and special. So we're really excited to get to go. So oh, thank you to the children so, for that's doing so that cool. for us. That's so cool. Uh, we'll make sure we tag them too when we, when yeah. we put this out there too. <laughs> for sure. Uh, uh, is there anything else like I mean, if if uh, someone like uh, just someone wants to get involved, help out, I mean, sure. can, they, can they do that as well? They can. So we're always looking for support and especially community support. Mm-hmm. Really, um, that can look like donations. We're looking for monthly donations to kind of help us be able to keep this program running free of cost to these students. And you'd be surprised 10, $20 a month goes a long way for us. Mm-hmm. And Like I said, you know where it's going. Second, volunteers. Um, Obviously, your time is just as valuable as your money. And we need 
we need umpires, we need coaches, we need people to help with the fields. I know um, some of the high schoolers also were looking for like credit hours and things like that. Mm -hmm. So we need someone, you know, to help hang our sponsorship banners and our this and our that. So there's plenty of work to go around. Um, If you don't mind getting a little diamond dust, you know, on your shoes, we'd love to have them. We're, We're trying to host an umpire academy. So we said, you know, no, no experience necessary. We're not going to check your eyesight, Mm -hmm. but we do need help with umpires as well. And so really anyone who's interested more so even than that, we just need people to talk about us. We're really trying to get our name out there. Um, You know, tell your friends, tell your sister, tell anyone with a kid who might want to play softball or baseball. Like I said, even if they've never played before, Mm -hmm. we really want them. And like I said, we we have this league for our young kids. We've got a summer league. We've got a young leaders program for middle school. And then high school, we do a program that we call college prep. So for that, it's not an actual league. We do an hour of classroom instruction in exchange for two hours of strength and conditioning training. Mm -hmm. And so the classroom instruction with us, it's more so how to fill out a college application, how to pick a college to apply, how to fill out a FAFSA form. We've, um, we're trying to partner with a few different credit unions and banks as well to even open up like a financial literacy class. Um, I said, you know, that's helpful. My husband and I just bought a house last year and I, I had every resource available to me and it was still difficult, you know? So I think even just that piece is so important too. So kind of, especially now, you know, school counselors, uh, my heart goes out to them. We've got like one counselor for 300 kids, you know, so it's kind of easy to slip through the cracks. So we're trying to fill those cracks. It just like, I I come, I come back to this, especially when there's programs like, like this out there now, it's like, where were you guys when I was in high school? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) This is, it is just so cool that you guys are able to do this for the kids nowadays. I mean, I, 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 you know, it's it's just it's just like it's just so cool. Like I I I Yeah, it's the, really like a dream job, you yeah. know? And so I, you know, the stress is kind of a good stress because you know you're trying to make something better mm-hmm. and change a life. So yeah. it's it's pretty exciting. And I, I would like to say just while I have a platform for it, I um like I, I was telling you earlier, the recent news of juvenile on juvenile crime is horrifying, Mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think we, we don't think kind of, we need to start thinking proactively in like an interventionist way. And so these after school programs and environment that's safe and mentoring, and that is so valuable in order to intervene into the way that some kids could go because, you know, they, they need somewhere, they need to know we care about them and, and they need to care about themselves And so even when we say we're an education organization, education can mean a million different things. You know, it's not just academics, it's socio-emotional, it's financial literacy, it's crime and drug prevention, um, and, you know, health too. We could get all into the, like, juvenile diabetes statistics and things like that. So when we say education, it's really multi-pronged. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think being proactive and actively seeking a change to kind of turn that around and, and give these kids a chance. Right. And and can I, I, I know I, I, I want to ask this real quick. I mean, I know sure. that, if, you know, and children and kids, they have different situations. Mm-hmm. If could the, could a, 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 a child contact you guys to maybe get the ball rolling to get themselves involved in this program? Absolutely. Absolutely. Like I said, we've got our phone number and email up there. Um, We're an extremely small office. So chances are we're all going to see it. (laughs) Um, So yeah, I'll I'll give you my email too, to post as well. But that info at borderyouth.org, we all have access to that. So even just, um, you know, calling my cell phone, seeing us out, we're trying to be out in the community a little bit more to help kids who maybe aren't checking Facebook or don't even have internet at home. Mm -hmm. But um, like being on this show, a chance like this is invaluable to us. So yeah, any, any questions, any ideas, you know, we're open and we, we'd love to chat. Darby, thank you so much. I, I I really, really appreciate you guys coming on again and just talking about the program. It sounds like you guys are revamping it and it's going to be amazing. 
we're pretty excited. So yeah, like I said, anyone come, I've got to invite y'all out to some games, but our, our big re-entry will be April 1st. So we'd love to have anyone who's interested or just see the kids, see them running around. Um, you know, we're always open to sponsorships too. I'll say that we started um, sponsorship banners to kind of okay. get the local community involved and kind of see something back, you know, so really to show that we're partnering and trying to build that community. So that's also an option for anyone else who maybe has aged out of baseball, <laughs> softball. We'll still find a way to get you involved. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I'll make sure I include all of your information in the description below. That way that anyone can contact you guys, uh, follow you on social media and yes. uh, just, you know, get, get more, get more involved with you guys and also their own community. Yeah. And like I said, we're looking, you know, to partner with, um, just this last week, we went and volunteered at one grub diner, mm -hmm. which was super cool. We were sorting asparagus seeds, you know, but just <laughs> kind of getting involved in forming these relationships, I think helps. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, if anyone would like to have us, we're happy to, to come hang out, talk, chat, see kind of what we can do to help each other and really build these kids up. Oh, that's so awesome. I, I, I appreciate the work you guys are doing for, for the youth here in El Paso. So amazing. Ms. Darby, do you have anything else you'd like to say right before we end today? Yeah. You know what? I'll end with our, or excuse me, our slogan here. Every player who gets an education wins. And we truly believe that we believe there's nothing more important than educating a child. And part of that journey is making that child know that there is opportunity and promise and something better that they can achieve that they've never even dreamed of. So from me, we believe in you and we're here to help you reach that potential and sky's the limit. Darby, thank you for joining me. And uh, like I said, uh, if you need anything from me, you let me know and I'll, I'll help out any way I can. Of course. Thank you. And back at you. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Of course. Thank y'all. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.